Hi everybody, my name is Erin DeLong and this is my daughter Rory Kate. And I'm eight years old. And we were asked by Pastor Neil to participate in the 12 days of Christmas by doing a devotional reading. So today we are going to read from Luke chapter 2 verses 6 and 7. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Right before Jesus was to be born, his soon-to-be parents had to make the trek from Nazareth to Judea for, to register for a national census. The trip had to, had to have taken them a while, especially since Mary was nine months pregnant. When they arrived in Bethlehem, eager to find a place to stay for the night, the innkeeper said that there was no room for them. So Mary and Joseph spent the night in a stable, on haystacks, next to donkeys and sheep, and that is where the Savior was born. I often wonder how long it was before the innkeeper knew what he had missed. When he heard about the Messiah from Nazareth, who brought dead people back to life and healed lepers of their disease, I can't, I can't help but think he regretted his choice to turn them away. He had to have relived the night in his mind, coming up with ways he could he could have made room for the Savior, for, for the Savior of the world. As busy people in the 21st century, we can point to a lot of reasons to explain why we don't make more room for Jesus and the people he loves in our lives. We've got bills to pay and kids to raise and responsibilities pulling us in every direction. But there's only one thing that God has asked us to do, to love him and in doing so, love the people around us. Let's avoid the innkeeper's mistake. Let's do some renovations to make room for the Messiah while we still have time. What do you need to move out of your life to make room for Jesus?